Today we are diving into the world of tech myths, those pesky bits of misinformation that just won't go away. Whether you are a tech newbie or a seasoned pro, you have probably heard some of these myths before. But don't worry, we are here to set the record straight. Stick around because you might be surprised by how many of these myths you have believed. Let's bust some myths together. Myth number one, more pixels mean better photos. Let's start with a myth that has been around since the early days of digital cameras. More megapixels means better photos. Sounds like logical, right? More pixels should mean more detail. But here's the catch. Megapixels are just one piece of the puzzle. For example, a high-end DSLR camera from a few years ago might have 12 or 16 megapixels. Yet, it can still take far better photos than a smartphone with 48 or even 108 megapixels. Why is that? Because the other factors like sensor size, aperture and the image processing are critical to photo quality. The DSLR has a larger sensor which means it can capture more light and detail, especially in low light situation. The smartphone despite its high megapixel count may struggle in the same condition. Plus smartphone cameras rely heavily on software processing to improve images which isn't always perfect. So next time you are buying a new phone, don't just look at the megapixels and make sure you also consider other camera specifications. All right. Now, let's address something that might be lurking in your living room right now. Myth number two, Alexa is recording everything you say. Let's talk about smart assistants like Alexa or Siri. A lot of people think that Alexa is constantly recording everything you say and is sending it to Amazon. While it's true that Alexa listens for its wake word, it's not recording everything in your home. When you say the wake word like Alexa, the device starts recording and sends that clip to Amazon servers for processing. But if you don't say the wake word, the device isn't recording. Alexa is designed to listen for a specific command and only then does it start recording and process what you say. However, Amazon does store these recordings to improve service, but you can review and delete them in your Alexa app if you're concerned about privacy. So. While it might feel like Alexa is always listening, it's not recording unless you're actually interacting with it. Now, let's move on to a myth that might change how you use your phone every day. Myth number three, closing apps improves performance and battery. We have all done it. Swiping up to close all these background apps on our phones, thinking it's going to save battery life or improve performance. But guess what? This is actually a myth and it might be hurting your battery and performance more than helping it. Here's why. Modern smartphones, whether using an iPhone or an Android, are designed to manage background processes efficiently. When you leave an app, it goes into a paused state using minimal resources. But when you force close it, your phone has to work harder to open it again, consuming more energy and power than if you had just left it alone. For example, let's say you force close your messaging app. The next time you get a text, your phone has to fully reload the app, which takes more energy. Over time, this constant closing and reopening can and actually drain your battery faster. So the next time you are tempted to clear out all your apps, remember your phone's got it under control. Speaking of myths about our favorite devices, let's tackle one that's been around for ages. Myth number four, Macs don't get viruses. This one has been around for ages and while it's true that Macs are less targeted than Windows PCs, they're not immune to malware. In fact, as Macs have become more popular, they have also become a bigger target for cyber criminals. For instance, there was the infamous flashback Trojan back in 2012, which infected over 600,000 Macs by exploiting a vulnerability in Java. More recently, in 2020, the Schleyer malware was found on nearly 1 in 10 Macs, spreading through fake Adobe Flash Player installer. So yes, even if you're using a Mac, it's a good idea to be cautious about what you download and consider using an antivirus software. Now, let's shift gears and talk about a myth that could change how you charge your devices. Myth number five, you should drain your battery to 0% before charging it again to 100%. So this is a common belief. You should only charge your phone from 0% to 100% to keep the battery life healthy. This might have been true in the days of older battery technology, but not anymore. Let's first understand how a battery works, specifically how a lithium battery works, because that's what is used in our smartphones. A battery consists of three sections, one called the cathode with lithium atoms, the anode side with graphite, and the middle layer called the electrolyte. When the battery is charging, the electrons from the lithium atoms move to the anode side while the lithium ions travel through the electrolyte. When you use your phone, the electrons pass through your phone and the lithium ion returns to the cathode side through the electrolyte. 
this is discharging modern smartphones use lithium ion batteries which don't suffer from same memory effect that older nickel cadmium batteries did in fact letting your battery drop to 0% regularly can actually shorten its lifespan lithium ion batteries perform best when kept between 20 to 80% so feel free to top up your phone whenever you need it it won't harm your battery can you charge your phone frequently or should you let it discharge fully before charging it again i think you might know the answer now from our earlier discussion a battery at 0% is the most stressed and unstable and it'll age and degrade your battery life a little faster than normal so obviously don't let it exhaust before charging it again also you can charge your phone as many times as you need between 0 to 100 in fact charging your battery from 40 to 60 five times is better than charging your battery 0 to 100 percent once they don't have any memory of charge like older battery tech so you can charge more frequently than you would think and also charging until 80 percent and not going to 100 percent is a better way to save battery now let's move on to the charging myth that might keep you up at night myth number six charging phones overnight overloads the battery how many of you charge your phone overnight there is a myth that doing this can overload your battery and shorten its life the reality is modern smartphones are smart enough to stop charging when they charge 100 percent today's phones have built-in battery management system that prevents overcharging they stop drawing power once fully charged so you can leave your phone plugged in overnight without worry however keeping it plugged in for days at a time might still have long-term effects but overnight charging is perfectly safe so don't stress about it plug your phone in before bed and it'll be ready to go in the morning now let's address a myth that's been sparkling debates for years now myth number seven apple slows down old devices to make you buy new ones so this one's a hot topic the idea that apple slows down older devices to push you into buying a new phone while it's true that apple has been known to throttle the performance of older iphones there is a bit more to the story back in 2017 apple admitted to slowing down iphones with aging batteries to prevent unexpected shutdowns this wasn't about forcing you to buy a new phone but rather to manage the reduced capacity of an old battery the older a battery gets the less able it is to handle peak performance which can lead to your phone shutting down to protect its internal components apple introduced this feature to help prolong the life of your device but they should have been more transparent about it now you can turn off your performance management in your iphone settings if you prefer so while apple does slow down older devices it is to preserve battery life and not to force upgrade and now let's talk about something we all use passwords myth number eight you have to change your passwords often let's talk about the password security there has been advice for years that you should change your passwords frequently to stay safe online but the reality is changing your passwords too often can actually lead to weaker security here's why when people are forced to change their passwords regularly they often choose something simple or predictable like adding a number or a letter to their older password or worse they might start writing them down this doesn't make your account more secure it actually makes them more vulnerable so instead of focusing on frequent password changes it's better to create strong unique password for each of your accounts think of a long password with a mix of letters numbers and special characters and if you're worried about remembering all of them use a password manager this way you only need to remember one master password and the software will take care of the rest of it so don't stress about changing your password all the time focus on creating strong unique ones that you don't have to update constantly and that's it for today's video we have busted some of the biggest tech myths that have been floating around for years hopefully you have now armed with the facts that you can avoid falling for these myths in the future which tech myth surprised you the most drop your thoughts in the comments below i would love to hear about it if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tech insights thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one this is anjana bye bye